there's going to be a lot of pain. There's carnage. The people who did buy in the last couple of years who didn't plan accordingly are going to have a really hard time for a while because their income is not going to be going up. And that if they don't have a, a source, like a windfall of money coming in, they're going to be tough, which is like that couple in London who bought, right? They're bought for 730000 as in C CBC News article this week. And their mortgage payment went up like two grand. Engineers from Brazil moved to Canada. Canadian dream. Can't start a family because they're working at work. Get the fuck out of here. And, now. Uh, uh, you know, dying, dying, you know, those type of things like door, door delivery stuff, right? For food. So they're, they're, working those extra jobs while one's trying to become an engineer another one's quoting jobs for construction and they have engineer background. So you can tell that they're probably already upset about that. This is the story line. That's, that's just the one that made the news. So, but is this going to stop like 800,000 people no, from coming? No, that no. all that does is it's Slow a drop in the to bucket. 400,000 It's a drop. It's a not, not, not immigration. What I'm talking about is the amount of inventory that comes to the market because of that. So yeah, oh. there's a bunch of fallouts. There's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people who will be totally screwed, but the amount of demand that'll be created because of the lack of housing. How many houses are going to be built, Daryl, over the next five years? Any more than we did even in the if last they pick five up, years? I don't think so. But even let's say we pick up the pace to an average of like 10 40, more. I guess we're are we talking Canada? I don't know. De Canada Desjardins stats. did a study that says we need 50% more. 50% more than the target, bro. Than the, not than, than the already what we approved. No, no, no. That, that the already that the already approved yeah, fifty percent more than what we we know we can get done. The target was already like eighty percent higher than we've ever done, and it was like so impossible to hit. It's ridiculous. And now well, the provincial target, Ontario's provincial target, all is of the targets, incredi incredibly uh, okay. Maybe maybe they could. Yeah. Uh, technically do the target in saskatoon but like yeah. where where's the labor coming from and if it's so crazy in toronto that people are like flocking out to saskatoon like mm -hmm. where's the materials coming from because i'm pretty sure people will end up getting materials in toronto before saskatoon or uh, moncton right yellow knife or, or yellow i'm not knife. saying i know i'm not none saying of it all i'm saying is i've changed my opinion on the immigration factor right is that it's it becomes a it to me it was a non-factor i thought yeah you could bring four hundred thousand people in here and this is not going to change a thing but now it's becoming more and more clear that there is going to be a significantly large amount of people new to this country not already here getting permanent residence but physical bodies coming from other countries and living here i hired some guys the other day i hired some guys from uh Remember, I, I mentioned it. Where are they from? Mumbai? Slovenia. Slovenia. Okay. Slovenia. Slovakia. 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 So, so they basically, so basically, you know, they came here a few years ago, you know, they're working labor jobs, hardworking guys. They're trying to get things done. You know, they got wives. They're young. They're like in their twenties. They got, they got wives. They're ready to go. They, my wife's will clean the houses for you. All this kind of stuff. They're offering their services, right? There's a lot of people. So when you say labor shortage, I'm telling you that the labor's coming. When you do, when you bring in that many people, you're bringing in people who will resort to anything to be able to afford the sure. lifestyle that they need to, which includes going to get a, a job. Scary in the though, because it's like you know, you hear stories about uh, general contractors waiting at the airport or or at the uh, the docks or at the train station and like hiring people. <laughs> Yeah. Like right off the the well, the, the look transit. At the, look right? at the big guys, right? So look at Ellis Dawn or you know. I knew a guy. Who, I knew a guy who hired guys that just got out of jail. I think that's a great resource. Mm -hmm. Well, it was pretty interesting watching them do the interlocking in front of people's houses and getting in fights and yelling at each other. I think guys should get a second chance and immigrate Selling immigrants drugs. should have an opportunity <laughs> to make good money too because trades sure. pay really well. What do you think a guy who's uh, starting and the trades makes, but how how tight is the labor pool that you gotta? First of all, who like let's just take this a step back. Um, yeah. Imagine the guy building your house that you're you know you're on the second floor right now in a really heavy bathtub enjoying your soak, but the guy who built that place was literally just kind of pointed at as he walked off the train and was like. That's not how it works. 
Um, TK. That's not how it works. It's basically how it works. Okay, but there's a building permit. You ever issue. you ever work with uh there's, with uh, rebar? No, it's okay. We'll show you. Come come with me. There's en there's engineering that's done. There's there's you know definitely standards that need to be met. And and I engineers think engineers can and, engineer, architects can architect, right? Like what do you people, mean? This, this couple who has just bought this house are both engineers from Brazil. They can't get a job as engineers because right. they, they can't need to be engineer. certified. Right. So you yeah. bring in the people that could actually do something in the in the real estate market to help get stuff on on the market into supply. And what do you do? Um, yeah, we're gonna bring in these engineers, but you know they're gonna drive Uber for three years while not only having another full time job at the restaurant, but going to school to get their certification to be an engineer. Right? Mm -hmm. This is a yes. wonderful system. Yeah. While eventually you bring in enough engineers, eventually some of them will stick. Some it out of them and get start certi being certified. Engineers. Right? That's right. Yeah. Anyways, what well, are we talking about right now? We're talking about a labor shortage. We're talking about I think that the labor shortage the will be solved labor through labor market ever. The labor shortage will be solved through um immigration. Who's hiring everybody though? Like you get you get all these tech companies are firing people like crazy. You got rates going up. Everybody's expecting okay. like Armageddon in the job market. And but if we increase if we increase housing supply and and new construction starts, who's making okay. new supply though? Uh, and you're telling me that the developers, the the big contractors, the guys who are building houses and all that kind of stuff, if they had access to a labor pool, and that they had bought the land back in 2003 yeah. for 300,000, and now yeah. they can build 800 homes on it. Yeah. You, you, they're not. And nobody's find the labor. buying. No, they're not going like... to find. The, they'll price it at a, a point that people will buy. And if these people will are all, they? they'll sell it to the guys working for them. Is that say, what hey, you're seeing? I'm is that what we're you, seeing now? We're I'm seeing telling, a couple of guys like Mattamy is launching the, a few the things. The things that happened in the past, because we had labor shortages and all that kind of stuff, which seemed like, oh my God, this problem will never be solved, will be solved through immigration. Through immigration. Through immigration. So, the demand shortage from the increase in interest rates and everything else will be solved through immigration. I'm not saying 100%. Everything will no. be solved through immigration. No, but there's going to be a, a section of each one of these issues that we have that'll be solved through immigration. And I didn't believe that before. I thought Why? really, it what would changed? Be like a, what changed? I, I just by reading more and more about it. You know, they keep on putting out more and more information about it. Exactly how much numbers I told you about the Benjamin Tall announcement that he was talking about is we didn't even really experience any increased population over the last two years. It's mostly been people who were um, already here, right? And that the percentage of those new Canadians were were mostly just permanent residences from people who already lived in a dwelling somewhere. But mm. now the increase in the amount of people who are going to actually be coming in now will be a real net gain of blood, 400, 500,000 human beings, plus all the other people who come here as, uh, you know, in other in other programs and stuff like that. And in theory, he said it could be as much as a million people landing in Canada in one year. But even if we use just half that number, 500,000 bodies need to live somewhere, Daryl. Where are they going to live? You think that we have a bunch of vacant properties? You think we have a bunch of vacant properties sitting there right, right now that people are just going to move into? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, even if there were the amount of empty properties that they say there are, mm -hmm. like those those will fill up in a year. Those are those are filled. Done. Those are going to fill up. This month. Done. Gone. So again, not saying that this is the be-all, end-all of solutions, 